It's week one of the National Football League, and it's presented by EA Sports. This is the NFL on EA Sports, and we are thrilled to once again return to the gateway to the West, the proud city of St. Louis, Missouri. Today, it's the opener of the 2023 NFL season, as it'll be the Dragons of Tokyo taking on the Black Knights of St. Louis. With my good friend Charles Davis in the booth, I'm Brandon Gauden, and the moment has finally arrived, CD. It's time to begin a new NFL season. Partner, there's no hiding my excitement as I got ready this morning. I could not wait to get here for this game. Imagine what it's like out there on the field for those players, though. OTAs, training camp, preseason, it's all led to this moment when they officially kick this one off to get the season underway. in 2023 on EA Sports. And he won't quite make it to the 25. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. Leading them out, someone who took the league by storm last year is the most famous Mr. Irrelevant ever. From Iowa State, it's Brock Purdy. This week, such an important one for his entire offense, but for him especially. He wants to start this new season off strong. He's got big plans for this year. Wants it to be one where he finishes among the league's best while leading his team to the postseason. A strong opening week is a great start to that and can grow momentum that carries over not just to next week, but the next few weeks as well. A rising tide raises all ships. And if he can start the season off strong, his offense will benefit. It looked like the defense, they were ready for that one. Really left him almost no room to work after catching the ball. He could throw every move in the book at him. They were there in a tackling for a loss. And he goes nowhere. He'll lose yardage back at the 17. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package, and that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Birdie with it on third and long. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. How about that? They weather the storm of a third and 17 to pick up the first. Well, things are looking pretty darn good on this first drive, aren't they? Came right out, set the tone, this time with a big pass play. And if the peek behind the curtain that they gave us or their game plan, I don't think that's going to be the last one we see. I think you're exactly right about that. So the line of scrimmage all the way up to midfield now as they've got it first and 10. Now a give right side McCaffrey. And they're going to stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. Purdy will set up to throw it here. Connects with Kittle underneath. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and it's third and four now. So the completion there, but Charles, looking at this defense, certainly in for a tough task here this afternoon. What are some of the keys for them if they want to come out on top? Well, the first thing, partner, is they just allow a completion there. They don't want to get a string of those going. Let him get his confidence. Let him get into the rhythm of the game, the flow of the game, and all of a sudden, he's feeling like he can do no wrong. You want to really get after his timing a little bit, knock a few balls away and make things uncomfortable for him because if he feels relaxed, you are in for a tough afternoon. Purdy's throw pulled in by Kittle. That will go as a pickup of seven on the seventh play of the drive. Well, that's not just his first, not his second, already his third completion here on the opening drive. And I, I think it's safe to say that getting him the ball in this game, one of their top priorities. And a top priority for the defense has got to be finding ways to cover him. And I don't think you can have one basic coverage to get it done. 
You have to throw a number of coverages at him, make him think as he's running downfield, and hope you can create a little bit of havoc. Back to the ground on first, it's McCaffrey. And not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. The tackle by Cole Holcomb from the 24 now. Here's second and nine. Birdie. Connects with Kittle underneath. It'll go as a gain of four. And it'll be third down. Well, they're not hiding who their central focus is on offense. Charles, he already now has four receptions here on this opening drive. And I know people who are watching the game are thinking, did they forget about him in the defensive game plan? But it's actually been the opposite. They give him a lot of attention, but he's been very creative and savvy in his route running and finding seams and openings in order to create these completions. Jake Moody now on for the field goal. Right hash, 37-yard attempt. And his kick is indeed good. And the opening drive of the game yields three. So the opening drive does yield points, maybe not the seven they wanted, but they'll take the three. Accumulating first downs does not go up on the scoreboard, but it does go into the DNA of a team that's trying to establish itself to start a game. That has to feel pretty good for them. They'll take the three. Yeah, they had three first downs and three points. So now we'll get a look at the other offensive unit as they come out for their first possession. They're led out by the second-year pro out of Pitt, looking for a big jump in year two. Kenny Pickett. And when you watch Kenny Pickett play, you see a young man who got better every season in college and really blossomed in his final campaign, took his game to a new level, and made him a first-round pick in the NFL. He's the type of kid who can beat you with his mind, beat you with his arm, and occasionally with his legs. A tough, skilled performer. Kenny Pickett, he's got some moxie to him. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. Now he dumps this off over the middle. Two yards, good enough for a first. Well, this city, St. Louis, so heartbroken when the Rams left for L.A. following the 2015 season. But they believe they get a chance to get a team back here someday. And now today's the day. An NFL relocation team back here in St. Louis. And this fan base ecstatic. And they have welcomed them with open arms. Now run straight ahead with Warren. And able to get this one all the way up to about the 46-yard line. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Well, just the last thing you want to see here in the first quarter of a new season. Hopefully nothing serious. We'll step aside for a moment. A handoff for Warren. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And this one's incomplete. Had Flyermuth the intended target, but it'll be second down. Pick it now from the gun here. Pass complete. George Pickens with it. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. You got to like what you're seeing from this offense here on the first drive. A nice sustained series to begin the game. It will continue after picking up another first there. Would you say the word methodical comes to mind? I love the execution. I love what they're doing on this drive. They're controlling the ball, controlling the game, controlling the clock. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. And he'll take this inside the 30 to about the 29, maybe the 28-yard line. Now they got to get to the 23 here on third. Here's Pickett. That is caught. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Back. 
back to throw. Pick it. This is caught. Touchdown. Deontay Jackson. A 22-yard touchdown play. And the Black Knights are able to answer the early three points and take a first quarter lead. Good throw there. And I don't want to blow it too out of proportion, but he looks a lot more comfortable in his second season. You can tell he put the work in in the offseason. And what I mean by that is understanding the playbook, not just the plays and how to execute them, but how to do it against a variety of defenses, also understands his team better, what they can and cannot do. You can see the confidence rising in him as he plays. Extra point put through by Boswell, and that makes it a 7-3 lead. Taken at the goal line. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that were happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick, <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Out of the gun, Purdy. And this will be incomplete. Second and 10. McCaffrey running up the middle. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean, or else they'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. Here's Purdy now on third and goal. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's brought down. First catch of the new season for him, and he picks up the first. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and ten as they've got things rolling on this drive. A handoff, McCaffrey running right. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. Ready for the second quarter, and it's our visitors with the football. Ball on the 36 now. Here's second and four. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. Fighting his way down to about the 35-yard line. And he got half of what he needed there, two yards. And it'll bring up a third and two more. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And he's going to get to the 31, enough for the first down. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Here's a second and nine now from the 29. Oh, the motion comes too late, and this is going to be a delay. Delay of game, offense. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. Still second down. Throwing on second down, it's Purdy. They'll get this into the hands of IU. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. So they need six yards here on third down. They're two for two on third down tries so far on this drive. 
And throwing here, Purdy. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs. Able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. And his kick here is good. And they'll get it back within a point at 7-6. to six. So the margin shrinks there as they get the field goal to draw them a bit closer here in the second quarter. Yeah, nice snap, nice hole. They just want to keep this game close, so give them credit for finishing that one off with three. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. Take a look at Deontay Johnson as this offense runs back out. Previous series, definitely a focal point. Three catches, the touchdown grab. As a DB, your former DB, is there a number of catches on a drive you're like, oh, he got the best of us? I'm not sure there's a number, but there's a great feel. And what he did on the last drive, yeah. <laughs> Especially with a touchdown. Yes. You're never way, happy. You're exactly right. The way he capped it off. So you feel that at the sideline, and now you're looking at your buddies and saying, okay, what are we going to do to take things away from him? Because I'm not sure the other guys can make those sort of players. So let's make sure that we don't let him get going again. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Throwing on third down. Here's Pickett. And he fires one, but incomplete. And that is how you respond after taking one on the chin to begin this game. Give up a first drive touchdown, go back out on defense, and completely shut them down to force a three and out. On is the punt team now as this one's sent away. Fair catch signal for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey to about the 33-yard line. <laughs> I know we can't hear what's going on in that huddle right now, but I'll guarantee you at least one offensive lineman is saying, my bad, we simply couldn't move them off the line of scrimmage. We've got to do a better job trying to root those guys out of there. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Here's Purdy. Able to complete this one to McLeod. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Well, they obviously red man covers their partner, and he got downfield, broke down the defender, made him what think. What do you mean by that? Yeah, he made him think he was going to run a different route. Probably thought he was going to take it upfield. Then he curls back inside for the completion. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. And so it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. Five yards. Now it's third and five. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Purdy from the gun on third down. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And down inside the 15 he goes. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. A first red zone opportunity of the new year here as they come up now first and 10. Now Purdy. Touchdown, Ray Ray McLeod from 13 yards out. And the Dragons are able to move back in front. Well, there you go, Charles, his first touchdown pass of the new season. Well, let's just go back to his rookie year because he's able to get his feet wet, right, get a little bit of experience. Now I think here in year two, the game will slow down for him and we'll see his true talents come out. Yes. 
Moody good with the extra point, and that'll make this a six-point game. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. Taking it about the one. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. This offense back out and set to go for their next drive. Well, these guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalposts, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Pick it in trouble, and down he goes. Dre Greenlaw getting home on that one. The last run went so well for them, maybe they should have just handed it off right here, too. Instead, the quarterback ends up keeping, and the defense is right on it, and what's where the yardage gained on the last snap. And this offense on third down today, they've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and nine. Pick it back to throw. Four step. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. We have an injured player out there, and oh boy, that's the quarterback, Kenny Pickett, who's in some pain after that one. Boy, you always hate to see injuries, especially tough here in week one. Just hoping this is nothing serious. We'll take a quick timeout. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. A 40-yard punt, one yard on the return, and that will come the offense as they take over. Tokyo set to go on offense once again. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out, looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Got a man. That's Ayuk. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Purdy from the gun. Connects with Kittle underneath. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. A bit of a catch for him to remember. That's number 400 for his NFL career. Not a bad number at all. Purdy looking to throw on first down here. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. Two yards to go, second down. Play action. Now Purdy. That's caught by Werner, the tight end. Two yards, good enough for a first. Purdy off the play fake. And he's going to go down here. A sack. They push him back to the 34. A second down throw for Purdy. He'll get this out right here to McCaffrey. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. Out of the huddle now for play number nine on this drive. This is third down and eight. Back to throw, Purdy. And that is incomplete, but a penalty flag coming in. This could be a first down. So now then, the penalty's got him set up with a first and goal. Purdy now to throw. And it's caught. 
Touchdown! Debo Samuel from six yards away. And the Dragons are able to add on to that lead. Well, Charles, he's still a young signal caller in this league, second year in the NFL. And I don't know if last year as a rookie if he would have worked through his progressions like he did on that touchdown pass. I think you're right about that. We're seeing him grow up right in front of our eyes. And we remember, of course, all scoring plays need to be verified upstairs. And I think they're going to at least take a look at this. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review. So they had it right. Moody good with the extra point. And the lead now stands at 13. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. Austin elects to bring this out of the end zone. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. Here comes a first down throw from Rudolph. He finds Robinson. They'll give him four yards there, and it's second down. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Now a second and six. Rudolph. And his throw here is going to be incomplete. He was waving his arms, won the football, but he dropped it. And that reminds me of a story you told me from your days at Tennessee. We don't need to mention the other guy's name, but when he dropped an open pass that you blew coverage on, what did you say to him? Yeah, it was really not right since I blew coverage. But since he dropped the pass, I said, well, maybe next time he'll just walk it out here and hand it to you. Would that be easier? He wasn't, was, real, th he wasn't real thrilled with that. That's cold-blooded. Cold-blooded. <laughs> On first and ten, Rudolph got his man. It's one. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. Now they got to get to the line quickly. Rudolph throwing again. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Now it's Rudolph. And unable to connect. If he had caught it, it would have been a first down. Instead, it's four. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all. And I understand why. They've looked lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. This one angles out of bounds in a good spot in the coffin corner. And they're going to mark this out of the five-yard line. One final go for this offense here in this first half. And they'll start from their own five, so you'd have to imagine they'll stay conservative. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And he'll work this back to right around the line of scrimmage and surrender there. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome back to football, everybody. We've got a full slate of 16 games here to start the new season. So let's take our first trip around the NFL.
We were certainly treated to an entertaining first half. Both these teams with some high points and maybe a couple of low points as well. So it's going to be a question of who can be the most disciplined team going forward. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. This offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. And right out of the gate, they face what you think could be a pretty important drive. I would say so. You know, they're down two scores. That's not the end of the world. It wasn't the strongest of first halves, but for them to start calling back, they've got to start putting a little pressure on that defense, start cutting into this deficit. You can't have three and outs and expect to get that done. Talanoa Hufanga, a first-time All-Pro last year, up to make the tackle. And they'll come up on a second and seven from the 27. Back to throw Rudolph. Caught out left side by Robinson. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. And that's one of the better plays we've seen this offense put together so far. They haven't been able to get on track much at all. But listen, they're only down a couple of scores with the rest of this quarter and the entire fourth remaining. So, stranger things have happened. On first down, it's Rudolph. And he will be hit from behind and run over. Wow. The Nick Bosa so quick on the outside. He gets in there to bring him down. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. They toss it to Warren. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. But well, these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They have to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage, no yardage would be found. Hit from behind, and he's going to be driven down. Multiple defenders getting to him there for a huge loss. I'd say it's not panic time yet, but let's be honest about it. Empty possession here, not what you're looking for when you're down a couple of scores. Absolutely not. Trying to start the second half off on the right foot. Unfortunately, going to get the ball up. And they bring their punter out there now. Standing right on his own five-yard line. And a fair catch called for and made just inside the 35-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. On first down, Purdy. And he's got McCaffrey open, complete. Completion good for six yards, and it's second down. A six yard pickup brings up second and four at the 41 yard line. Up the gut, McCaffrey. And yeah, he'll be pretty well stopped in his tracks. Give him a yard up to the 42. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. And he's got the first down yardage there as he takes it just across midfield. They'll get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme and you can drop anyone out of your defense. Oh, he tries to force it in and it's intercepted. Picked off by Joey Porter Jr. He's to the 15. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. So that potentially a turning point here this third quarter. A two-score lead down to one now following the pick six. And that had to be the message at halftime for this defense delivered and accepted. We need to go out there and make something happen. Extra point now by Boswell. Boswell. 
And it's good. The deficit six, 20 to 14. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And he'll return this one all the way out of the other side of the field. In just about every special teams meeting, there's a discussion with the punter about his importance. Why? He can flip the field for your team defensively, move it deep into their own territory, or if you're backed up on and he can hit a big punt and change field position and help his defense. In this case, though, field position got flipped by the return team. You can do it so many different ways on special teams. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And a pretty good burst right there as he'll take this down to the 33. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Play action, and now here's Purdy to throw it. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. 12 yards there as they move the chains. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Here's Purdy. Complete to the tight end, Kittle, over the middle of the field. Short completion, just four yards, and it'll be second down. Purdy will set up to throw it here. And it's caught. Touchdown. George Kittle from 17 yards out. And the Dragons are able to stretch out their lead. Well, he's regarded as one of the best athletes among NFL tight ends, Charles, and it certainly was on display right there. And as we've seen this league continue to grow and develop, I think the tight end position is becoming harder and harder to defend because now it's elite athletes playing that position, not just the big guys who can block. How about his ability to get downfield and make plays against any defense? I have to admit, I love the excitement of the two-point try. You know, to see what's going to happen, and, and it happens pretty quickly, doesn't it? You get an answer, and in this case, it was unsuccessful for the guys trying it. Completely unrelated. I just realized that I stole both your pins in this last half. <laughs> <laughs> My bad, partner. Hey, that's okay. Well, the, and, and just in the time they went for two. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. Austin elects to bring this out of the end zone. They had tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. And right now, these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting, because three straight drives have ended with them putting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. Rudolph throwing on second down. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away. And now it's third. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Play action. It's Rudolph. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Looks like another empty possession offensively. And you're at that point in the game where you can't afford too many more of these. So this is going to require some heavy thinking on the sideline to figure out what they can do to crack this defense. And the punt team on now as this one's sent away. And a fair catch taken back near about the 35, 36-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And they will take over first and 10. Purdy now to throw off the play action. He'll get this into the hands of Ayuk. It'll go down as a gain of six, and that's going to bring up second down. 
It's a pickup of six. Brings up second and four at the 42 yard line. This is McCaffrey on the give. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Throwing here, Purdy. This one caught by Kettle. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. That's a gain of 14. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. They'll give it up to McCaffrey. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. They need to get to the 29 if they want to pick up a first here on third down. Purdy looking to throw. This is going to be incomplete. And this defense definitely in his head there on third down, and he's pretty fortunate. They didn't call for grounding on this one. That was a good 10 feet over everyone's head. And this is going to wind up left. Well struck, but it's no good, and this will stay a 12-point game. Now listen, now, no kick from 50-plus is a gimme, but here you're indoors in a dome. You'd think ideal conditions. Yeah, and it's one that he would expect himself to make, not just us expecting him to make it. Over the years, my theory is very simple. The athletic ability of kickers continues to get better and better. Check their backgrounds. They were all county, all state. And he can't escape, and down he goes. Buried by multiple defenders on the drive's first play. I think you saw the same thing that I did there, partner. Remember, he's their backup quarterback, so the last thing they need is to lose another one right here on the sack. Looks like he's going to be okay, though. Yeah, he looked like he was favoring something in the left leg. Appears to be fine now, but you're right. That O-line, they got to protect him. Now, they're in some hot water now. After that sack, it's second and 21. Here's Rudolph. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. It's now third down and one. Rudolph looking to throw. In trouble, and he's taken down. Taken down for the fifth time this game. Multiple defenders there to get him. It has been a rough afternoon for him trying to get rid of the football. See, that's now five sacks. How'd you like to be the offensive coordinator, the offensive line coach trying to come up with an answer for this pass rush? What blocking assignments do you change? Can guys play a little bit better? And we're seeing the end result on the scoreboard. Long day in the pocket for their quarterback. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. A 41-yard punt there with no return. The Tokyo offense heads back out there now. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. Shotgun now with Purdy. Got a man, that's Ayuk. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Altogether, a pretty shaky start to the year for this defense as they defend another first and ten. A give running left, it's McCaffrey. And just one yard here from the 49 to the 50. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. 
And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Ball right on the 50-yard line. Here's the second and nine. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. A yard in the wrong direction makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. Now Purdy. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. Rudolph on first down. Throw left side complete. That's Warren. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. Good yardage on the completion there. And when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. Rudolph's throw pulled in by Robinson here. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. Line of scrimmage, the 43 on second and four. Shotgun snap for Rudolph. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Give him 30 yards there. Well, that was a pretty good time for his first catch of the ball game, and it turned into a huge play as well. He's certainly not been a central part of this passing game so far in this one, but he made his presence felt there a big pickup on third down. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. And it's caught. Touchdown. Deontay Johnson already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Black Knights have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. I know Paul Revere talked about by land or by sea, right? You know, one by land, two by sea. He didn't mention air because right now we're seeing a big-time performance, aren't we? That's two touchdowns so far in this game. Where'd you pull that one from? And, you know, every now and then I actually listened in history class. <laughs> and you, you're just a scholar all the way around. You're reading all the time. I like that you fit that in the broadcast. <laughs> you know, I just grab a nugget when I can. Boswell good with the extra point. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. And he returns this to the 22. Tokyo set to go on offense once again. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. Looking middle, and that's complete. It'll be a gain of five. And that will bring up second down. A gain of five brings up second and five. Purdy now to throw. That's Samuel caught left side. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. And these guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. Just week one, but already plenty of intrigue with the games going on, and this one no different as we come up on a first and ten. A handoff left, McCaffrey. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. It's a gain of eight. 
brings up second and two. In motion right, Debo. Now he's going to get it on the jet sweep. Oh, and this one that may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. This offense so far on third down, they're hitting at 60%. Six out of ten thus far. This is third and four. Purdy. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him six yards, and they do convert on third. Now on first down, it's Purdy. They'll get this out right here to McCaffrey. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. This drive's taken more than three minutes off the clock already as they come up on second down. Running left, here's Mitchell. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to throw from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Back to throw, Purdy. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. His big game continues. Ten catches now and another first down. And that certainly appears to be a critical conversion right there because not only do they keep the drive going, they take valuable time off the clock as well. They have to feel really good about that last completion. Purdy looking to throw on first down here. Again to the big tight end, George Kittle. So give him two yards there on the completion, and that'll bring up second down. Looking to throw, Purdy. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Six yards on the pickup, and all of a sudden here, it's third down. Back to throw, Purdy. And he's caught. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence, and that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. McCaffrey will get down close to the goal line, but not in, as he'll be marked down at the one. Second and goal from the one. Again, McCaffrey, and this time he's not going anywhere. In fact, he'll lose yardage back to the three. Nothing doing there as the 13th play of the drive proves to be unlucky. A big play if you think about it right now in this season opener. It's third and goal. On the ground, McCaffrey. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. And now here in this situation, a field goal would still have him only up by one score, so I would think about going for it. Even if you don't get in, you put your defense in a really nice spot, making the offense go the long way to try and score. Kick is good, and that'll push the lead up to eight. So that gets him a little bit of breathing room, but not much. And you have to think back to the field goal that he missed earlier. This would be a two-score game right now if he had converted then. And if you and I are thinking about it, you know he is as well, because in the back of his mind, he's thinking, I hope I get one more shot in an important spot. He just made that one. He wants one more later to truly make up for the earlier miss. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. And remember, despite giving up the field goal, this is still a one-score game. They're in need of the touchdown and a two-point conversion. A field goal on this drive likely doesn't do them much good. On first down, Rudolph. That's now wide to Harris. That's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job is simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, short tackle. Rudolph's throw pulled in by Robinson here. 
Well, this one's had a season's worth of thrills already, and it's still week one. Here's third down now. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. With that incompletion, reality is staring them right in the face. This entire game is down to the next snap. Who wants it more? This is fourth and a yard. They'll try and run for it. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. Well, they did the part they had to do. Quick throw got the first down. But that doesn't allow them to relax. They still have plenty of work to do. Rudolph setting up the screen. Harris. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. Throwing here, Rudolph. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. And now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaken up. While the medical staff checks on him, we'll step aside in this week one contest. Here now, third down. Now Rudolph. The throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. Partner, they've got one chance left to keep this one going, and I think for you and me, let's think along with their offensive coordinator now, has to think back, cycle through every play of this contest, and remember what's worked and what hasn't, because right here, he needs the best play of the... And he's brought down! Can't do anything with the football, it's a sack and a turnover on downs. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And boy, possession here turns over with the football already being in the red zone. Tokyo set to go on offense once again. And checking the timeouts, they do have two defensively, but no real need to use them as they're not going to be able to stop the clock after that. We've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as the clock will stop with a minute six left to go in the game. Oh, but he's going to be met behind the line and taken down. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. And he's going to come up well short as they rally up to stop him at about the 16. So here we go. It's Jake Moody now in a big spot. This to perhaps salt this one away. And his kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So the starting field position was terrific following the surprising turnover on downs, but the end result, only three points. Simply stated, I think you have to look at that as a missed opportunity. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. Here comes a first down throw from Rudolph. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. That is incomplete. Well, that play was certainly a little bit different because on the previous play, he was sacked. This time, protection a lot better. Had time to survey the field and still couldn't find an open receiver. One last throw here for Rudolph. He's going to let it fly. And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete, but the contact is going to move the ball well downfield. So the game will continue for at least one more play. Could not finish a game on a defensive penalty. That's why they get one more untimed attempt. One final shot. They'll look to throw. One last shot at the end zone. And that will be incomplete. They were going for a consolation TD, but it was not to be. And time has run out now on this game. Well, CD, always a little extra excitement for week one. And one of our early window games here in week one on a Sunday comes to a close. Good to be back in the booth with you, my friend. And it's good to be back in the booth with you as well. And we know that not everyone's going to start the season 1-0, right? Half the league is going to have a loss on their record. But everyone's going to have to build off of that opener. 
And how many coaches tell us every single year you make your most progress between week one and week two. We'll see how both of these teams progress the rest of this season. So for Tokyo, hey, you get a win, you get it on the road. You can't ask for much more than that to start the year. And they'll get another road date next week. Meanwhile, for the home team here, they obviously fall to 0-1 with the defeat. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew here at EA Sports, I'm Brandon Gordon saying so long, everybody.